looking good. How's it going everyone? And welcome back to another awesome video. Today I will show you how to use your Apple Watch for iPhone filmmaking. If you're someone that creates a lot of mobile content with your iPhone and you happen to have an Apple Watch or are considering getting one, then this video might be helpful for you. Probably one of the most useful features when it comes to creating mobile content is the camera remote app that allows you to monitor yourself and trigger the record button from a distance. But there's a lot more you can do with your Apple Watch that will help you improve your content creation. So I'm using the Apple Watch Series 6, which is currently, as I'm making this video, the newest Apple Watch on the market together with the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Keep in mind that you don't have to have the newest uh, Apple Watch to make it work. You could use something like an Apple Watch Series 3 that you can get for around 200 bucks to use it with the camera remote app. Let's first look at the interface of the Apple Watch. As you might know, you can choose different faces for your Apple Watch. When I go outside and shoot mobile content, I want to have the necessary information displayed on the Apple Watch to make sure I'm prepared and have quick access to all of the tools I need. So the watch face I chose is the infograph since it allows me to customize and add different features. Let me show you what features I added to my Apple Watch layout. On top, I added my calendar. Not only does it show me the date, but also synchronizes with my calendar, showing me upcoming events or appointments I have. Currently, it shows that I have to make a YouTube video. To the left, I have weather conditions. It shows me uh, the current weather situation outside. When I tap on it, it provides me with more information where I can see how the weather condition is for the whole week. This way I can better prepare myself and schedule my shoots. To the bottom, I have the rain icon that shows me percentage wise the possibility of rain happening. This is important because I don't want my camera gear to get wet. And this way I also know when to bring my umbrella with me. To the right, I have the camera remote app that allows me to quickly access the native camera app on my iPhone. This way I can get right into shooting without having to unlock my phone. We will get into the camera remote app later. Keep in mind when opening the camera remote app, it will open the last settings you used on the native camera app. On the corner on the right, I have the battery indicator of the Apple Watch. To the left, I have the current temperature outside so that I know what to wear. To the bottom left of the corner, I have drafts which I use to record my ideas. So when I'm in my car and suddenly have an idea for my next YouTube video, I can quickly access it and record my voice. And once I get back home, I write the idea down in Notion. To the bottom right, I have the world clock that shows me when the sun is rising or setting because the best time of day to shoot is during golden hour. The colors are vivid and you get that soft warm light that makes any video look great. And whenever I can, I try to shoot during sunset or sunrise. So let me now show you how you can use the Apple Watch camera remote app for your video recordings. So number one is monitoring. With the camera remote app, you'll get a live feed where you can see your adjustments in real time. You can use the Apple Watch to frame yourself when doing talking head videos. A great tip is to strap the Apple Watch to your iPhone to better monitor yourself since the viewfinder will then be closer to the lens that you will be staring at. Using the Apple Watch is a great solution to film yourself and that way you can use the wide lens on the rear camera that produces a much better video quality than using the front lens or selfie camera. If you want to switch your iPhone's cameras, you can do that by simply tapping on the three dots in the lower right corner of your Apple Watch. You then can select whether you want to view and control your iPhone's front or rear camera. If you need additional light, you can turn on the flash to better illuminate yourself, but I prefer using external video lights. Number two is zoom. Videos have to appeal to a shorter attention span for the YouTube audience. The longer you can keep the audience watching your video, the better your watch time will be and the YouTube algorithm favors that. You can use the zoom while recording your talking head video to change the perspective. Make sure to use the rear camera for that. This makes the video more dynamic and keeps the attention of your viewers. Here's an example of how I used the zoom in my videos. There's something I haven't told you. I'm gonna have my eye laser surgery tomorrow to get rid of these glasses. So 
Goodbye, glasses. Whoa, uh, where are my glasses? This also saves time in post-production, not having to crop in manually all the time. Number three is creative shots. Like I've mentioned before, through using the Apple Watch, I get a live feed of everything my connected iPhone can see. This allows me to put the iPhone in areas where a larger camera normally wouldn't fit in and use the live viewer on the Apple Watch to set my composition. I do like using my iPhone with the help of my Apple Watch to film myself from different angles to create a more complete scene. I recently made a video where I filmed myself with the iPhone 12 Pro Max using the Apple Watch and if you haven't seen it and are interested, I will leave a link up here for you to watch. What's very helpful is that I can trigger the record button from a distance. I can also set the focus and exposure by tapping on the Apple Watch screen, but unfortunately not lock it. The Bluetooth range of the Apple Watch is around 33 feet or 10 meters. I see the Apple Watch also useful for vloggers that want to combine vlogging with cinematic storytelling where you use different creative angles to make your videos more dynamic and engaging. Hopefully you got a good understanding of how you can use the Apple Watch with your iPhone to your advantage. Make sure to leave a like if this video was helpful and let me know in the comment section below if you use your Apple Watch as a tool to help you create better mobile content. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe so that I can put out more awesome tutorials for you guys. Also make sure to download my free smartphone filmmaking guide that will help you get started making quality content with your phone. Make sure to check out this video where I use the Apple Watch to film myself. If you already seen that, then make sure to check out this video that YouTube suggests you. Thanks again for watching, keep it mobile, and I will see you in the next video.